The green link spider is a terminator of wasps, but to be honest, it is a predator of opportunity and will pretty much consume whatever insect that it can capture and kill. It is beloved in certain areas of agriculture as it eliminates many crop damaging insects, but it also sometimes consumes beneficial insects too, such as pollinators. But people shouldn't fear this arachnid. Although it has a scary appearance, it is relatively harmless to humans. Green leaf spiders are quite common, but not commonly seen. They are pretty good about staying either out of sight or well camouflaged. Chances are, if you have shrubs around your home, or a garden or tall grass field nearby, then you probably have green leaf spiders around as well. I love the look of these spiders. Green overall, with long legs covered in black spines. Additionally, I respect how protective the mother green leaf spider is over her eggs and babies. Notice in this photo how a mother green lynx is guarding her egg sac. She will do this for a few weeks until the young are born and immediately set out on their own. Female green lynx spiders are often larger than males, ranging in length from a half an inch to three quarters of an inch, not including the legs. Males are usually half an inch in length, or slightly shorter. These spiders are fairly translucent, and the cephalothoraxes appear to have been cast in a green gel. They have incomplete chevron markings on the abdomens. Legs are translucent and yellowish, and covered in black spines. There is a red patch between the eyes and red spots on the body, which vary in number and size between individuals. Green leaf spiders most often inhabit tall grass fields, especially where there are tall flowering plants. And as I mentioned before, in shrubs around homes and other buildings. Green leaf spiders can be found in most places over the southern half of the United States, from California to North Carolina. Their range also extends well down into Mexico. Female green link spiders lay eggs in a silken sac, which is attached to vegetation such as leaves or tall, reedy grasses. The spiderlings hatch inside the sac after about two weeks, but remain inside until they are fully developed, about a week later. The mother spider aggressively guards her egg sacs until the spiderlings hatch. Once they leave the sac, they immediately begin hunting for tiny insects. Adults die in fall, but the young spiderlings will survive the winter. As I mentioned previously, these spiders are relatively harmless to humans. However, if messed with, they can bite, and the pain would be similar to a wasp or bee sting. Additionally, green link spiders can spit venom up to about 8 to 12 inches. It has been reported that the venom can cause eye irritation. It's probably best to just keep one's distance from these spiders and try not to handle them, especially a mother guarding her egg sac. The green link spider is the largest North American link spider. If you enjoyed this video, consider clicking on the like button and subscribing. Thank you.